Partial eclipse of harvest supermoon to light up the sky on September 17th. GB wanted a great article on this. Please take a look at it. Uh, partial eclipse of, and, and it looks like parts of California can actually see this. Uh, the full moon will reach its peak about 734, and the eclipse, but the eclipse begins uh, slightly earlier. So take a look at that, read that article on GV Wire. It's uh, super exciting that we can actually see a partial eclipse of, of the moon, potentially from parts of uh, Central California. Weather, let's check out the fantastic uh, cooling trend coming our way, which we started enjoying today. There was a slight chance of rain on Monday. It's still there, but dropped to 9%. But look at the lows in the mid in the mid to high 50s. I can tell you in my district, unfortunately, the Pinedale community has been hit really hard by illegal sales, and then fentanyl, of course, among them. We just had a big bust last week. Um, you get one dealer off the street, it does make a big difference. So I'm really glad Valley Crime Stoppers is offering an award. An award. Hopefully, it's enough. I don't know. I'm not I'm not in that world. I hope a thousand dollars is enough to get someone to snitch on you, and it, it'll it'll save a lot of lives. There we go. Who do you think will win Tuesday's presidential debate? This poll was put up over a week ago and ran for a week. So who do you think will win? 55% of you said Donald Trump. 40% said uh, uh, Kamala Harris. And then there's a poll that we put up last night. Who, did, who do you think won the debate? I've, I was that kid who was always interested. I've watched every single presidential debate, I mean, myself watching it, uh, since 1992 when you had Ross Perot, Bill Clinton, and Bush 41. This is the most disappointing debate I've ever watched. And I think the lowest point was when President Trump, I don't know why he did this, he brought up Springfield, Il, uh, uh, Ohio, Ohio, Haitian immigrants eating dogs and cats. I mean... It's like watching a terrible freshman high school forensics debate. And not only is it inaccurate information, it didn't happen. It was something that was spewed by very anti-immigrant, hateful people in that area. But here's what I worry about. This is where it comes down to where, in, think about where the independent voter is going to be. So if a report goes on his desk that there are WMDs in, in Iraq, does that mean he's going to make that same decision to commit troops and treasure? to nation building when there are no WMDs. I don't know what the hell he was thinking, but he was really off his rocker on that one last night. Let's see if there's any comments from the public on that. Uh, Republicans should do a poll and see who would beat the Democrats, then just change candidates like they did to win from uh, Robert Wharton. You know, the, the, the irony is a lot of my Republican friends were saying, oh, I love Joe Biden. I love Joe Biden after the debate. Well, be careful what you wish for. He's gone now, and now we have a different candidate, and uh, you've seen the change. So I think you said it earlier, Darius, in the beginning of the show. And you missed the most important issue of all, and it's a bonus slide that we're going to put up right now. This Saturday is a very special day. Oh, no. And GVY uh. team wants to wish our friend, uh, the biggest philanthropist in this town, someone uh. who's an amazing employer, Darius Asemi, a very happy birthday. Happy 29th. <laughs> happy 64th, actually. Oh, my gosh. Thank you. But that's uh, Sneaky Mike and uh, Paul, probably, and, and Anthony produced that. Thank you. We can, we can probably put the slide down now. Uh, 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 if you were President Reagan, you would say it's the 34th anniversary of my 30th birthday. There you go. <laughs>